Kiona, I'm Marky, Wendelin's husband, and I'm a guest today in this particular video. And I have to follow these instructions and do things. It's all for Halloween. So happy Halloween, or happy Samhain. And um, I think I just start by picking a card and tell me what to do. Trick. So if it's a trick, I don't pick them up, do I? Let's pick a different one, I think. Right, so. Please tell us about Mary and Marge um, and have some sweets in their honor. Oh, a little bag of lollies here. They call them lollies in, in here. So I was telling Gwendolyn the other day uh, about the village that I grew up in, which uh, when I was first there was um, like a, something from a whole different era. The really. best example of that was one of the village shops. There, there were two, but the, the best one was known as Mary's. So it was run by two two old ladies called Mary and Marge. I don't know why Marge never got any of the credit, but um, and it was I think it was in a thatched cottage. It might not have been thatched, but it was an old an old cottage. It was a door, not like a shop door. You know, it was like a solid door with a bell on it. You'd open the door and it would go ding 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 ding. And you couldn't walk around this shop. There was just a standing area only, like a, quite a small area uh, in front of a counter. And whatever you wanted from the shop, they would go and fetch for you. So you couldn't rummage, you couldn't look at shelves. You could see over the counter. Um, and we used to, obviously I was a kid and, and we used to go in there for, for sweets. And um, you used to you used to have all the jars up. You could see all those over in front of you. And, and you'd ask for a quarter of this or a quarter of that and they'd, they would weigh them all on the scales and, and give you a little, um, put them in a little paper bag and wrap it around like that so two little twists on either side <laughs> and we'd walk away with these with these bags and we'd get a bottle of pop or something like that. Uh, and it was a real um, community place because people would be waiting and there was never any kind of sense of hurry and, and everyone would just yak. Um, it's not that many people could actually stand in there at a time but um, there was always a conversation going on in there um, and it was all very chatty and very friendly and very personal and um, I don't think I've ever seen a shop like that before or since actually so that was that was Mary and Marge right so I think I'll pick something else from the little basket oh it's not a basket technically um, Which singer famously stated, the bigger the hair, the closer to heaven? If you can't answer, I've got a bigger trick. The bigger the hair, the closer to heaven. Oh, so I'm gonna say somebody like Diana Ross or uh, somebody like that. Uh, <laughs> So not getting it right because um... oh, trick. We'll look at it then. Right, you have trick to pick one. a specific trick. Trick one. Oh, that's trick. Oh, that's, that's trick two. Trick one. Oh no, that's a horrible forfeit. I'm gonna have to do. Dolly Parton. Ah, I didn't think of Dolly Parton. Probably the bigger the titties, the closer <laughs> to heaven for Dolly Parton. <laughs> Dress up using props for a holy doll, no, including boobs. Sing one of her songs. <laughs> I'll get you the boobs. It should be blonde if it's Dolly Parton. Well, I can't have everything, come on. Maybe like more like more spinal tap. You've got a song up your sleeve. More, <laughs> more spinal tap. Not spinal tap. Only I mean, like cleavage and everything. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know the words, right? You know the chorus. Which one? Of Jolene? Yeah. You could just sing the chorus. Just sing the chorus. Yeah. Doopy dooby doopy dooby doopy dooby doopy doo. Doopy dooby doopy doop Jolene. Jolene, 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 Jolene. <laughs> I'm begging you, please don't take my mail or something like that. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Uh, don't do it just because you can. <laughs> Go just <on>, laugh. <laughs> I hope we don't get caught for copyright because that was such a. 
a convincing <laughs> rendition, they might think it was the real thing. Get your coat, love, you've pulled. <laughs> you just lost me for my breasts. <laughs> You did very well, darling. I wonder if she did work in 9 to 5, didn't she? Yeah, there you go. You could have done that. Working 9 to 5. What a way to make it. Yeah. Okay, another question. I think. Please tell us the story of the local policeman whose station was his house. Yeah, so again, I, you know, I don't really consider myself old, but the world's just changed so much, hasn't it? So uh, the village I lived in had a village bobby, and he had a... a he lived in the village and his house was like a little mini police station you'd go to you'd go to his house if you if you needed the police you know, it would have a um i don't actually remember the the police house and i know it you know i know but it was there i remember seeing him do his little patrol around the village sometimes and i think he probably wore a policeman's cape as well um and he um yeah there'd be a blue lamp outside his house because that was the tradition of sort of police so yeah, it's just uh, so life has changed so much in such a short space of time. Another one? I didn't have to do a forfeit at that time. You can have a lolly if you want. Well, I get to have a lolly. I can't. I like to lollies and talk at the same time. I can barely <laughs> sit, sit and talk at the same time. What's the most haunted village in Britain? Answer over leaf. Oh. Um, yes, now I'm aware of it. Um, but I can't remember the name. It's not a place I know. It's not a part of the country that I'm familiar with. So I can't actually properly answer this question. Because apparently Devon is the most wanted county. I don't know if I get a bonus point for that. Probably not. Um, get so a lolly yeah, for that. so I'm going to get a, um, I'll get a lolly. So I'm going to get a, there's a little witch's hat there, look. Um, or it's a traffic cone, that's been the squish. <laughs> it's a witch, is it? Pluckley. That's the name. What is that? You thought I'd remember that, didn't you? Pluckley. Trick two, because I didn't answer it. I didn't know it's called Pluckley. Oh, I will remember that now. Place a t-shirt provided upon your head and pretend to be one of Pluckley's ghosts, the small white pup who haunts. A small white pup? What, as in a, a dog? A, a ghost dog? Right. Yeah, I've actually got an equity card, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it's that. It's not going to save you now. I did actually get an equity card now. Um, let me give you this. <laughs> oh, ooh, woof. Ooh, woof. It's a funny looking dog. Ooh, woof, woof. <laughs> ooh, woof. Rose or something, the radio something. There's another. He accompanies a woman who had a horrible story, so I didn't want to do that one. I thought it'd be fun for you to be the dog. The ghostly hound of Buckley. Yeah, exactly. Right, next one. Next one. Um, is this the last one? Probably, yeah. maybe. Tell us about your Alla Jones days. Yes. So this is the other kind of quaint thing from the, the village I grew up in. So I didn't grow up in a churchy family we never went to church as a family or anything like that. most of the UK most of England I guess um, the primary schools are affiliated to the Church of England it's the sign that said the name of the, the school and it's a uh, CV controlled which is kind of quite a, quite a sinister word is it controlled not C not CV affiliated it's CV controlled um, but it wasn't you know we, had, we used to have assembly and sing hymns and things but it wasn't particularly a religious school or anything but um, once a year, I think it was near Christmas, we'd do a, a concert in the in the church and we'd learn all these songs and stuff. So my primary school, it was quite sexist really. The, um, all the boys uh, were taught guitar and all the girls were taught recorder. That was just the way it went. Um, and if people couldn't afford a guitar or a recorder, <laughs> they, were, they were given what's known as a chime bar. Um, for those of you who don't know what a chime bar is, um, it's if you can imagine like um, a xylophone, you know, 
Ooh, we know there's there's like a little piece of metal and it the, the um and you hit them with a lot they're like lollipops that sticks you. A uh, chime bar is just one note. So it's like a it's like somebody's got a xylophone. Is it a xylophone or a rocket? No, a rocket spills wood, isn't it? And a xylophone's metal. So if you've got a xylophone, it's like somebody's sawed out sawed off just one note, and it would just be for like a freestanding thing with one note. And they'd have a little stick and they'd then you'd have to wait for ages until a certain note came up and you know they'd have to see or whatever and they'd be kind of quiet and then they you know they might be halfway through the song and then they'd be boom <laughs> <laughs> so we'd we'd take our, i think we'd take our guitars and uh recorders and chime bars and, and perform in the church i um ended up becoming a soloist and i would i would sing solos in the in the, the church very that kind of <laughs> very yes very very kind of Alan Jones in the church it was all That's candlelight and all the parents came to watch and, and I'd be <laughs> <laughs> it's a rude way we can say it it's a bit like so part of your body's being squeezed and <laughs> you can <laughs> yes. sing really high <laughs> yes the trousers were too tight <laughs> so yes that was yeah, so yeah, the last one there, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Then, I, then think... I go away and I can eat all. I can just sit myself in a in a dark corner and eat all of these at once. Yeah. Please <laughs> sing us a folk song suitable for Halloween. Oh, there is one that's suitable for Halloween, but it's pretty few. Um, Lynn is the one. Lynn is um, it's a fantastic one. It's about it's a bit dark, really. When you think of, when you think of these things in you know modern in terms of modern outlooks and things, it's it's quite dark in the north of Scotland. And it was about this fairy elf, an elven knight. And if any young maidens went to this particular place, he would take their maidenhead. So, and this young woman quite likes the sound of this, so she takes herself off there and becomes pregnant. She says to her father, you know, it's, there's no, he doesn't have an earthly father, he an el has an elven father. She wants to free him from the land of fairies, to, to uh, do certain acts to free him from the land of fairies, to, so that she can marry him and bring him into the, back into the real world. Human knight and the queen of fairy put a spell on him and made him an elf. And he rides out. Um, every year on Halloween, the fairies ride out. They kind of do a kind of like a parade or something. Um, and he rides among them because he's because he's a knight. And that's the one night that she do what needs to be done to bring him back into the human realm and make him human again so she can she can marry him. He has to hold on to him and he turns into all these different things. He turns into a lion, he turns into a... Um, he turns into a hot ember and all this, but she just has to cling on, cling on to him. She can marry him and make him live happily ever after. I forbid you maidens all that wear gold in your hair to travel to Carterhaw, for young Tamlin is there. Those that go by Carterhaw must they must pay a price, either their mantles of gold. Or else their maiden head. Oh, Sounded yeah, right. I'll find the words and I'll do a Follow I'll up. do a proper video. It's not that easy a song to sing actually, but I, don't know. I should have done the the Twa Corby, shouldn't I? Because um, which is the one about the two ravens that are eating a, a knight. That's yeah, been that's murdered. right. Yeah, that's right. That's a good Halloween one. There's quite a few. Uh, good spooky folk songs actually. Mm. I'll do I'll do time but on my channel well we put it on both channels but my channel um it used to be called Mark the Demystifier but it's now called uh Retractor Jealousy World Leading Therapy Plus. Trips off the tongue. <laughs> Trips off the tongue. <laughs> 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 I deliberately chose that title so it'd be catchy. And snappy. But we can you can grind a little bit in the notes below. Warm thanks to you, darling. Thank you for a Is wonderful. that it? Have I, have I ritual You're humiliation is, is over? <laughs> apart from I've now got to go and sing another song. Great more work for you as well. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good, darling. Thank you. Thank so you, much. Gwendolyn's people. Gwendolyn's trying to come over to my channel. You're very welcome. Have a good Halloween and good rest of the year.